when I mean the drinking one, I was coming, I was coming back from the British Legion in Teddington, where I live, and it was a Sunday evening, ten thirty. It wasn't my worst drink. It wasn't like I'd been out two days or, you know, I'm, I'm out, out, out of it. I was coming home ten thirty, and I thought, I've had enough. Just had enough. That's what I cannot keep on feeling like this. I was going to the pub, wasn't having fun. I was just sitting in my phone and just drinking, literally just drinking, like constantly and. And literally when the pub shut, I would take a lorry load of drink home and sit indoors and drink it. You know, so I just had enough and, and I rung up AA Alcoholics Anonymous the next morning, a, month, a good friend of mine who'd been waiting, <laughs> took me to a meeting. Waiting as in they knew? They knew, yeah, yeah. they know, they know, they see it. And then uh, the gambling one was, I stopped and then we got into lockdown, we saved up money and I have to save up. You know, I'm not a professional footballer anymore, you know, whatever I do, I have to save up, you know. So we saved up really hard to get a house for the kids, security for my wife and everything. And and I was I got I got addicted to the news. Like I got addicted to drink and drugs and gambling, I got addicted to the news. I was hanging on to everything Boris Johnson and the other people were saying and at five o'clock I would sit there and I'd and I, honestly in the end my anxieties got so bad. My head was like, that's it, I'm never working at Sky again. Football would just be on, behind closed doors, every game would be on every night, and that would be the way it is. And my brain, being a compulsive gambler, was, right, I've got our savings, let's race it up, let's win the house. And I lost a whole lot, and for two weeks I hadn't told my wife, and all I could see was the kids playing on the sofa when I was in, and I, I just wanted to kill myself. I just thought, my God, I cannot believe what I've done cannot believe and then I just brought up the courage to tell her how did you tell her just said I need to tell you something I've, I've, and she thought I was joking she thought I was joking but yeah it went ballistic yeah it went ballistic and right and, and rightly so do you know what I mean it's mm. but it stuck by me again you how know? did you recover from that uh start again start again mm. you know it is I mean it's it's just start again it's you either go that way or you come up that way and you know i chose to go that way mm. and 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 that that was it i mean but i'm not i'm not lying i had major thoughts about killing myself major thoughts major you know just every time the kids laughing and joking and i think oh my god you know how can i keep on letting people down every time constantly letting people down but not wanting to let people down you know it's a horrible you know, you start thinking you're going mad, you think you're going insane. And that's not a nice feeling either. And how did you pull yourself out of that low feeling? Because uh, no one else can do yeah, that. Yeah, no, you can't, you just, you've got to keep on going. I mean, past experiences help, you know, I do mm. know that it can change. You know, at the start, you know, it's easy to say that now and you pick yourself up, but at the start when the, the tunnel used to be a lot darker, you know, I used to see a bit of a light at the end of it. It was like, I don't see the end. Now, through past experience, I know I've, I've come up again, if you know what I mean. I know that I've recovered and I know how you can do it. But I don't take it for granted. I don't go, you know, I know what it's like, so let's go out and have a drink and get drunk and mm. go mad. And then after the summer's finished, let's start again. I, I, it doesn't work like that. No but it's just past experiences that I've been lucky enough to, to know that I can do it. Yeah. Is it true you lost seven million quid? You know, I, I would say more, but I really worried about the money. I, you know what? I lost time. Right. That's this horrible feeling. You lose time, like where you're somewhere, but you're not there. You know what I mean? I've been on holiday in Florida and, and not been there, you know, like, everything's going on around and I, I'm looking at my phone or I'm, I, I'm waiting for the bar to open. Yeah, I never ever lived in the moment. I never lived in the day and that, that's, it take, that's what addiction does. It takes you, takes you away from the moment, it, it, you know, and, and that's what I lost time, you know. My boy said to me the other day, he said, how come Sanzo Sanzo's his friend's got a big lovely house and all that and we haven't? And I went, because I gamble. Gambled. How old is your son? He's seven. I said, I gambled, I lost it all. Oh. I would have had that, I could have had one of them 10 times over. I could. Yeah. But, and it's like to say, don't you do that. Don't you do that. Yeah. 
you know, and, and they're the message you've got to give. There's no point beating around the bush in, in saying, oh, you know, we haven't because he, he earned more money than me or whatever. That, that's not the case. It's simple as that. I gambled. Mm. I gambled. And was it hard telling your kids about it? No, I just said it really quick. Right. I, I, you know, eight seven. I just I said, you know, I gambled. Mm. That's what happens when you gamble. You lose everything. Yeah. You know, I could have, I could have, could have had that out. You know, I could have easy. Not mm. a problem at all. But that's what addiction does. That's what gambling does. Mm. You know, and if if you lay the seed in his head, you know. Yeah. And that and that's the thing. So, yeah, it's thinking about it now. It's, it, it is it is hard, but. You surrender, you, the money's gone, that's the one thing you do think, you, you know, you go, you're not getting that back, forget about it, thank God you're alive. Yeah. Are you happy now? Yeah, yeah, I, I would say so. I find, I find sometimes I'm not, sometimes I find it, sometimes I find it boring. You know, sometimes I can sit there, my life's always been up here or down there. It's like being a roller coaster. So even though the buzz of being up here, there's always been that buzz of down here of getting back up to there, you know, and it's, it's been like that. Sometimes I've always searched the whole of my life since I was probably 16 years of age is to be there. And I'm virtually there. I'm like, you know, like that little in the sea. And sometimes I sit there and I go, Fuck, boring, boring. And then my wife will go, yeah, but is it better than when you were down here? And you're like, it's a hundred times better. Of course it is. Well, take that then. Mm. It might not be a hundred times better than up here, but it's a hundred times better than down there. So that, I find that sometimes odd. I'm not going to lie. I, yeah. I do, you know, because as I say, from 16 years of age, it's just been so natural to be up here or down here. You know, it's never is been. Is that when you had your first bet when you were 16? Yeah, right? 16, yeah. yeah. First oh, bet. It's really early, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you say that, there's a lot, oh. there'll be a lot of kids now gambling, but yeah. a lot younger than that. Hey, quick, before you go, if you wanna watch the full, raw, uncut version of this episode in detail, no holds barred, you can watch it here. I don't know if you know, but I have more YouTube channels, including shorts channels, so make sure you subscribe below. But before you go, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on.